Hello, my name is Helen Pardo and I'm a consultant colorectal surgeon. Thank you for engaging with this presentation, which explains how we use the theory of total football as an organisational approach to improve outcomes for our patients presenting with suspected sepsis. A number of you will be familiar with and more knowledgeable about total football as a tactical theory of team dynamics which reached its peak of popularity with the success of the Dutch football teams Ajax and Feyenoord and the Dutch national teams rise to the semi-finals of the World Cup in 1974. For those of you with hobbies other than football, the founding principle of total football is where any outfield player can take the place of another player during play in reaction to a change in situation. A team playing intelligently and with flexibility in approach to deliver a successful result. In the same way that a football team using total football as its approach to success, we now present to you the theory of total sepsis with a similar team approach, avoiding the pitfalls of the delivery of improvement in outcomes being dependent on a single person. For total sepsis, the whole hospital works together on the single objective of reducing the number of deaths from sepsis while still working in their area of expertise. Harlow is a new town founded after the Second World War to rehouse much of the overcrowded, poverty-stricken population of the East End of London. The Princess Alexandra Hospital, which has approximately 400 beds, is the District General Hospital serving the local population. By mid-2017, it became clear to us that we needed to take a radically different approach to patient care. We had a major problem with an excessive number of patient deaths, which was multifactorial in nature. Interrogation of clinical information and organisational dem data demonstrated that when the ED performance against the four hour standard dropped below 75%, this was followed by a rise in our mortality rate over the next week. The Princess Alexandra Hospital has a sepsis caseload of six to 800 admissions per year with sepsis. 70% of our cases of sepsis present via ED with a patient profile as an elderly patient, often with multiple comorbidities, and most are admitted under the care of the general medical team on call. In 2016, the Royal College of Emergency Medicine performed a national audit of the delivery of the sepsis six care bundle in emergency departments. The sepsis audit at PAH showed poor delivery of the sepsis 6. For example, only 19% of our patients with suspected sepsis had blood cultures taken. In September 2017, PAH was in special measures and rated inadequate by the CQC. Something needed to change. Using volume, cost and risk modelling, we chose sepsis as a key area for improvement. We calculated that if we managed to reduce our deaths from sepsis by 20%, we could save over 20 lives per year. Our team approach was total sepsis. Our methodology to was to use a quality improvement strategy to deliver the change. We use the Institute for Healthcare Improvement model, weaving in Cotter's eight steps for changed and a VCR, volume, cost, risk model to help us decide on how to use our resources to greatest effect. A major area for focus for us was to reduce time to treatment by improving awareness and recognition of sepsis, core messaging, training and education, and a rapid non-digital sepsis screening tool using QSOFA was introduced. Training on the recognition and delivery of the sepsis six was delivered across the trust and was the same for all staff members. A cleaner received the same training as the medical registrar or a surgical nurse. To engage the whole hospital, our most successful technique was tea trolley training. Over two working weeks, the team delivered bite-sized sepsis training to all wards in a brief working tea break, training over 450 frontline staff. From this, we recruited a large team of sepsis champions, trained using innovative and fun approaches, as well as celebrating World Sepsis Day annually on site, on Twitter, on the gram, 
And if you look carefully in the presentation later, also on our T-shirts. Another area of success was developing a new blood culture pack. Our original blood culture packs were often not available and the regular clear bags were consistently incomplete as some of their contents had been removed, usually by junior doctors. A redesign of the bag to hide the contents and a better restock process significantly improved the availability of blood culture packs to help frontline staff work more effectively. The most recent link in the chain added was a satellite incubator located in the centre of ED. And all these incremental steps have improved our performance from 19% of patients with suspected sepsis having blood cultures taken to over 85%. One of the challenges of managing sepsis is that only 25% of those ED suspected sepsis cases actually have confirmed sepsis and there's not a rapid test currently available to improve the diagnostic accuracy. The risk of death is significant for patients with sepsis. Procalcitonin or PCT is a biomarker of bacterial sepsis which has been in use for a number of years. It is widely used across the world, although in the UK it is mainly used in the ITU setting and its ED use has not been characterised. Our team delivered a high level quality improvement project, adding PCT to the sepsis 6 to identify if PCT could be used in ED to confirm a suspected diagnosis of sepsis. However, it was very clear from our data that a PCT level of 0.2 or below did not exclude sepsis. Our review of presentation in ED, clinical outcomes and mortality has shown that a PCT level of greater than three in ED does identify a high risk group with a significantly increased mortality who should have a senior review within an hour with the important observation that PCT does not appear to consistently rise in neutropenic sepsis and therefore should not be considered a useful biomarker in neutropenic sepsis. PCT levels have been shown to be helpful in maintaining good antibiotic stewardship. The Brahms criteria can be used to indicate when antibiotics are not clinically indicated as the infection is not bacterial. This is known as PGAT or procalcitonin guided antibiotic therapy. Attitudes to the prescribing of antibiotics by many doctors in the UK, including in our hospital, seems to be antibiotics are good, therefore more antibiotics are even better. In our hospital, the team was unable to convince medical staff to have confidence in the available evidence and discontinue antibiotics using procalcitonin guided antibiotic therapy and the Brahms criteria on a single PCT level. After three months of failure, we regrouped, held stakeholder groups and other education sessions and developed a clinical algorithm based on two PCT levels at least 24 hours apart that is acceptable to our consultant body. And we are slowly starting to bring down unnecessary antibiotic usage. The number of deaths from sepsis shows wide variability throughout the year with seasonal variations. With our trust wide total sepsis campaign, some people may say that a huge amount of work has been needed to save only about 40 lives over the two year period. However, I say to you that the couple who are looking forward to seeing grandma at their wedding or the six year old who wants to play football with her dad, if it is possible to save a life, we have a responsibility to do everything we possibly can for our patients. In our hospital, we only manage to deliver such improvements by a team effort. The team, some of whom you see here, were always ready to move into a vacant position on the clinical field of work. The FY2 doctor who became deputy clinical lead for sepsis for the whole trust. The new graduates typing lists of antibiotics or running 10 miles to raise over a thousand pounds to support the team. The consultants writing the blood forms and the biochemists who chased those PCT specimens. 
All the team members have worked in multiple roles responding to clinical need to deliver the reduction in the number of deaths from sepsis, effectively demonstrating that they really embraced the theory of and lived the principles of total sepsis. Thank you for listening. We look forward to hearing your feedback and questions. After all, in the principle of total sepsis, it could be any member of the team who answers you.